Hey there Virgo, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. Uh, any information you guys need can be found within the description box down below. I do have uh, personals open right now for $25.25. Um, so those are just going to be the regular readings where you can ask questions about pretty much anything. But um, I also have a holiday special going on right now for the month of February. So those are love readings. They are $15.15. So any information you guys need on that can be found within the bottom of the description box. I also have that information in my community tab. Okay. So um, I did a video on it a few days ago as well. We're going to do past, present, future, and your overall energy here. What's going on for Virgo? Past. Ooh. So there could have been a major change in finance or stability, something that you felt was very secure in general. So let's look at what's going on currently. Okay. Hmm. So the Five of Wands is your overall energy this week. So. We have Saturn and Leo there. So Five of Wands doesn't necessarily always have to be a bad card. Um, it can represent conflict, strife, competition, um, but it can also just represent kind of playing. It can represent your passions being up against one another. So we're going to go ahead and clarify that to see what it's referring to here. I mean, it does seem like you guys are in a rut in a sense, but it doesn't seem like there's something super chaotic going on. What's going on with this Five of Wands? Eight of Swords. Yeah, it seems like you're in a rut here. Okay, Jupiter and Gemini. So there is potential for growth and expansion here. So uh, that's why I don't feel this horrible energy off the Five of Wands. I just feel like you guys could be keeping yourself stuck for some reason. Okay, so for one reason or other or another, you feel like you have to be in the situation you are in. I also feel, you know, with these Swords being here, I feel like you guys could communicate, uh, possibly negotiate yourself out of a situation here. Um, or change your perspective on the situation entirely if there is genuinely no uh, getting out of it at this point in time. Um, so in your recent past, we have the Tower, Scorpio and Aries. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo. And we have the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. So I feel like your finances or your stability in general took a huge hit in the past here. Or maybe you thought there was going to be an opportunity and um, it was ripped away from you for one reason or another. So we're going to look at that and see what this is about here. I also feel like there could have been some kind of um, uh, disruption in the home or something of that nature. Hold on just a second here, you guys. Okay. I was actually looking up if disrupt was a word. <laughs> it just didn't feel right coming out of my mouth, so... <laughs> Uh, I was looking that up. So what's going on here with the tower, please? What's going on with the tower? Four of cups. Does that ever happen, like, to anybody else? Like, a, a word comes out and it just does not sound like a word, or you spell it and it just does not look like a word? Super weird. Anyway, I'll get back to this. What's going on with the Ten of Pentacles? What's going on with the Ten of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles. Venus and Virgo. Three of Pentacles, please. Yeah, so you move backwards here for some reason. What's going on? Seven. Okay. Yeah, you're not satisfied with an investment. So if something didn't end entirely, I feel like you lost something when you invested um, in a particular like person or it, it could be anything you invested in here. Um, but the Four of Cups clarifying the tower. There's something about the roots here. Okay. Um, so you're not satisfied in a situation, okay? You feel stuck. You feel trapped. We've already established this energy here. So there is a burst of energy. There's a burst of... Um, there's something here where you want to run, is how I feel with the tower. Um, because the tower doesn't always have to represent an ending. It can just be something that's, like, sudden. It just comes on very suddenly. It uh, resurfaces, okay? Um, so, yeah, something is building here in the recent past. And I feel like it's this urge to run, to get out of a situation that you've been in for a long time. It feels stuck. It feels stagnant, okay? You have the Ten of Pentacles here as well, and then you have the Nine. So, honestly, for some of you guys, I feel like this could be something that you've built with, uh, someone that you've built with, built a life with. Um, 
where you're suddenly wanting out of this situation, okay? You feel like there's no room for growth here, or maybe you feel like you put in a lot of work in this situation. Whatever this is here, I feel like you want to move away from it, and maybe you do. We'll figure that out, but I do feel like there's just this urge to move and urge to run, okay? Uh, clarifying this three of pentacles. I say that, I want to go ahead and uh, clarify this. I say that because the Nine of Pentacles is a card of like independence, stability. It's pretty much just like a card of like doing battle by yourself pretty much. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have the Seven, okay? Which does equal the Ten, right? So I feel like that stability is still present there. Whatever this is, like there's still potential to get back to the way that things were is how I feel. But there's something that's not being noticed. There's something that's not being um, like put on display. There's something that needs attention here. And um, it's not getting the attention that it needs in order for it to grow and thrive the way that it's supposed to here. So I feel like you are considering backing out of an investment here in your recent past. And I feel like you're still in that energy in a sense because you have the three of wands, sun and Aries. So this is somebody who's overseeing something here. I feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, a lot of responsibility has been put on you. This could be someone you're connecting with as well where you just feel like you can't handle all of this that's how that feels to me you have the four of cups moon and cancer energy you're not satisfied with what you're receiving here okay for what you've put in you're not satisfied with what you're receiving you have the queen of wands as well which is Aries energy. This is somebody who um, has a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of ambition. Uh, there's something you want to move towards here. She's very bold, fearless, assertive. She goes after what she wants. And I feel like that's the energy you guys are wanting to move into here. You have the Nine of Pentacles showing up twice. You have it down here in the future. So we'll see what's going on with this Three of Wands, please. The lovers, Gemini energy. Some of you guys, there could be somebody that's just really distant from you. They don't make the connection a priority anymore. This could be a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be, okay? What's going on with this Four of Cups? Virgo, there you are, the Hermit. So that's definitely you in this rut here. What's going on with the Queen of Wands? Unless you're dealing with another Virgo. Four of Wands. Yeah, you're tired of being tied down to one specific thing here. Um, so I don't really feel as if this is like a commitment in general. It's, I don't feel, I want to go ahead and stress this, I don't feel like you're married and you want to go and pursue other people and, you know, still have your home life and all this other stuff. That's not how this feels to me. Um, I just feel as if you guys lack freedom, okay? You lack freedom. You lack independence, okay? So there's something about that here where you put in a lot of work. You hold a lot of power, but it just seems like you lack freedom and independence or something here that depends on you. That's why you lack independence. It's not necessarily because you depend on something else. I hope that makes sense. Um, but the three of wands and the lovers card, I honestly just feel somebody who feels neglected here. Okay. Uh, the three of wands, somebody is at a distance here. And I feel like while they're at a distance, you're having to oversee something here. You even have this space between these two figures here, this mountain. So there is conflict breeding. There's conflict that's been piling up for quite a while here. Clarifying this four of cups is the hermit card. So yeah, I feel like you're really in your feelings here in this four of cups energy because you're not satisfied with the growth of something and you're also going within trying to find your inner light here trying to figure out where you're supposed to go next okay you're trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel here is how I feel. You're trying to get out of a situation. So um, clarifying this queen of wands is the four of wands. I do think you want to lay down new roots elsewhere. Um, it doesn't feel like you necessarily want to leave this situation. It just seems as if you want something more, okay, than this. So this could have something to do with home. Maybe you guys are trapped in the home. Uh, some of you could have your Venus in Aries. Um, I also feel as if there's just something, there's just a side of you here that um, I feel that it's kind of been... Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? I feel like there's a side of you here that's been like cast away or something of that nature here. Um, so you could pursue this. So you could put in work on this. Whatever that is here, I feel like I feel like the issue is that you think you can't have both. And I think that's what this Five of Wands energy is here. Your passions being up against one another. Um, you're feeling trapped in one situation. Here in the future energy, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So there you are, Virgo. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Once again, that's Venus and Virgo. And then you have the Two of Wands, Mars and Aries. So we're figuring this out here. Let's see what's going on with this Knight of Pentacles, please. For Virgo. the moon Pisces energy what's going on with the nine of pentacles please Ooh, we got the ten yep what's going on with this two of pen or two of wands please 
What's going on with this two of wands? You got two cards here. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're giving too much to something here, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus, Moon and Libra energy. Maybe you guys are in a space where you feel like you're not giving enough, okay? But you are. You're giving enough. You are enough. So that's important to recognize as well. I feel like where you're, the area of your life where you're feeling like there's not enough is um, on the receiving end. You're not getting enough. It's not that you're not giving enough. You're just not getting enough in return, okay? Um, and I honestly feel as if it's nobody's fault, okay? Um, it's just something that you need to learn how to get back to yourself. Uh, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles is the moon card, okay? So I feel like you're moving very cautiously when it comes to some kind of decision you're making here. And I feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself that's not necessary. The moon card, I feel like you're in this really reflective energy. Like I said, you're very in your feelings. Some of you guys could be up at night, okay? Um, there's something here to do with, some of you guys could definitely have Leo in your chart. There's something here to do um, with routine, okay? So there's an emphasis on routine this week, okay? So um, yeah, I don't know what that's about. I feel like it has something to do with sleep here. So I feel like this could actually be contributing to this uh, reflective energy that you're in because I feel like it's more over analytical than it is like a healthy dose of reflection, if that makes sense. So I feel like it's causing you to be too um, anxious about something. You're fearful about a decision that you have to make when I truly don't feel like there's a loss that's going to be had here. I think that this is fear. You're fearing you're going to lose something by moving on something else and that's not the case. You have the nine of pentacles here. You have the ten of pentacles here. You can have both, okay? You can have your family life, your home, your stability, your structure, and you can have a life of independence. You matter too. So I feel like that's something that you need to just you know, come to terms with here. You have clarifying this two of wands, the full card and the uh, eight of cups. Okay. So yes, there's something missing from your life uh, for sure, but it doesn't mean that you have to get rid of something to put something in its place. If that makes sense. Like I said, you can have this nine of pentacles and this 10 of pentacles energy. I feel like as humans, we tend to like overcompensate when it comes to like a certain path we've chosen. We feel like, well, this doesn't feel right to me. Maybe I should go in the completely opposite direction. <laughs> And everything is about balance. I feel like that's what this two of wands is about here. Um, so you do need to clutch this wand ahead and take the lead on something here. But I also feel like, um, you know, there's no need to feel like you can have, feel like you can only have one thing. You can have both of these things. I feel like that's what this two of wands is saying here. Uh, the full card is stepping back into a youthful energy, you know, realizing that you have all the potential in the world to have whatever it is that you want, okay? You don't have to get rid of these things. There's no need for all this pressure here. There's absolutely no need for it. Again, there's like an emphasis here on sleep. I feel like there's something here where somebody needs to get their sleep schedule in order, okay? I feel like there's somebody who's very up and down. So uh, something needs to happen with that because I feel like it's really affecting you emotionally and intuitively. Um, it's affecting your judgment as well okay so that's what i'm feeling here for you virgo kind of specific um but yeah that's what i'm seeing i do hope it was helpful um i also want to remind you guys that i do have personals open so like i said um it's a pretty specific reading if you guys would rather get it personal or if you would rather watch out for your other signs see if there's a message in there you're more than welcome to do that but this is what i'm getting this week so again i hope it was helpful i want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and you all enjoy your week bye